Hello and welcome to another video from Cortigo. Today I'm going to be showing you how to navigate Tigo Engine, which is a software that doubles as our wireless island configurator and an encrypted MQTT handler. This video assumes that you already have your Tigo Master powered on and communicating with your PC. It also assumes that you have one or more wireless iLink devices powered on and waiting to be paired. If you need assistance with these tasks, please see our other first steps videos or see the description for useful links. Today, we will be using one Tigo Master 2TH and two Tigo Bridges to enable wireless connectivity on one iLink distance sensor and one iLink stack light. The general steps are as follows. One, open Tigo Engine and log in. Note that the default username and password is admin admin. Two, add a Tigo Master to Tigo Engine via its IP address. Three, add a wireless iLink device via scanning for and selecting a device's unique ID. Four, which is an optional step, integrate the device's IODD file. Five, read all available data from the iLink sensor. This includes process data, iLink IS to use, iLink events, etc. To begin, start by opening Tigo Engine from the taskbar or by typing localhost colon 9000 into a web browser of your choice. You will be taken to the login screen for Tigo Engine. The default username and password are admin and admin, all lowercase. Once you log in, you can change these settings. Upon logging in, you will be taken to the Master Overview tab. Here you can see all Tigo Masters that Tigo Engine is monitoring, and you can also add new Tigo Masters. To add a Tigo Master, we will click on the plus button in the upper right. Here, you can give your Tigo Master a name and an IP address. In this example, I already know my IP address. Once you click on Connect, the Tigo Master becomes added to the list of masters in the Master Overview tab. Once you have added a Tigo Master to Tigo Engine, you will want to pair a device. To do so, open your Tigo Master by clicking on its icon. This opens the Port Configuration tab of the Tigo Master, which provides an overview of all devices paired to it. To add a device, click on the plus button in the upper right. You can connect a new device by scanning the wireless network. Any wireless iLink device that is within range and not already connected to a master will appear. Select a desired device, then hit OK, then lastly select Pair. I have paired the Tico bridge connected to the distance sensor onto wireless port 1. Next, I'm going to pair the Tico bridge connected to my stack light onto wireless port 2. And as you can see in the video, the Tigo engine automatically reports what each device the wireless product is connected to. Once you add a wireless device, you can view the process data by clicking on the wireless device, then going to the process data tab on the top of the screen. Additionally, you can use the data tab for ISDU read write commands. If you choose to integrate a device's IODD file, this data will become parsed for you. If you don't already have an IODD file, you can use Tigo Engine to automatically pull an IODD file from the IODD Finder's website. Simply click on the device's Details tab, then click on the link which reads IODD Finder. If the device has a publicly available IODD file, it will automatically be pulled in from the IODD Finder. If you already have your IODD file, you can add it to Tigo Engine by going to IODD Uploader in the toolbar on the left. Once inside the IODD Uploader tool, go to Upload IODD File in the upper right hand corner of the screen. I can then search my computer for the IODD file. And now that we've integrated the IODD file, the Process Data tab allows us to read or write parsed process data. The Device Configuration tab also allows you to read or write parsed acyclic data. If you have any questions regarding this video, please reach out to Cortigo support team by opening a ticket.
Thank you.